Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah, AKA Nurse Hannah, coming back to you again with another video. This video is so overdue, like February is about to finish. And I'm so sorry, like I've been wanting to put this video out for so long, but I've been so busy with this semester since it started. This semester started like about last, well obviously last month. It started on the 13th of January. And um, being that this is my last semester in the nursing program, we here at my school, we follow the ATI, um, Comprehensive Nursing System, that helps us get ready for the NCLEX. So as you already know, I have like three, I think three videos on nursing so far here on my channel. I am trying to see how I can separate the two like my regular channel and my nursing channel. So maybe I might do another video or make another um, channel for you guys if you do want that. So I'm just playing it by ear. So let me know if you guys want a separate nursing channel. But um, yeah, so let's get into this comprehensive nursing RN ATI book. So first of all, um, I just thought that we were going to get just the book alone, right? So the previous group before us who graduated in December, uh, I usually like to, you know, know what I'm going to look forward to or what's ahead of me. So obviously I will just ask them like, you know, can I see your book? Um, let me just see what it's about because obviously this book is all the ATI books in one. So this book actually just um, highlights the points, I guess, of what ATI acts asks all um what ATI asks so um yeah like I said it goes from leadership management to pharmacology to um, med surge to mother baby to pediatrics to mental health and am I missing anything else oh community that's the community health right yeah I think so Fundamentals, med search, mental health. Yeah, PD, I, yeah, basically everything. So, um, and then there are like one quiz per um, section. Uh, the shortest was like 10 questions. And I think the longest I saw on med search was like 45 questions. And then there is one comprehensive test, I believe, or two. And they're in the back of the book, okay? And then the book also comes with little quizzes and uh, little, um, you know, things for you to do like this, for instance, in mental health, there's like a little matching, um, little, I guess, review for you to do. So there's tons of things in this book and there's also pictures. Well, I mean, the other books have quick pictures too, but this one also has like more pictures. Um, I guess the pictures will help kind of condense more of the information in the book. So um, starting with the live review, the live review was actually last month. Like I said, I was trying to do this video last month, but that did not happen. So I was trying to do the video for the live review to let you guys know exactly um, what we were doing in the live review. So our live review was from January 21st to the 23rd. So the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, nine to four, all right? Nine to four and um, the live review instructor from ATI itself, uh, oh my God, we loved her and we are trying to see if we could get her back um, the week before we take our NCLEX because originally, the ATI live review or any type of review is supposed to be like three weeks before your NCLEX, but in our school, they switched it up and they wanted her or whoever to come in the beginning. So I guess they wanted them to come in the beginning so that way we can keep what they instilled in us and taught us throughout the whole semester. But yeah, because she did say like, you know, in next week or next two weeks, you guys will take an NCLEX. And I'm like, no, we're, we're taking it like in the next three, four months. Yeah, so um, the book came along with this folder here. I'm sure you guys may have seen other people do the ATI comprehensive review and may have seen their videos. So it came with a paper like this. Obviously it was plain, but 
I wrote notes on it. So that's like a name, a name tag and you keep it right in front of you. So that way the instructor could know your name and who to call. And then um, it came with six cards, all from one to, one to six colored cards. So when we were doing reviews, um, answering a question, obviously she didn't want anyone to like yell out the answer or, you know, um, yeah, yell out the answer. So you would either pick one, six, if it was a select all that apply, you know, whatever question, whatever numbers you feel are the answers and yeah. So it came with these cards and then also a few um, study guides. She gave us this towards the end. I think this is like a, a developed study plan. And this is also for a month, I believe. So I would use this code. Um, like when we finished the, um, when we finished the live review, we had to do like a survey of how we liked or disliked the um, live review and she uh, told us about this. Well, she gave us this paper and then told us about the um, code. So uh, I screenshot it and I left it in my my photo. So I do remember that uh, probably around probably around um, next month I will probably use it because so that way I can use it for the predictor and. Um, the next page are these NCLEX live review um, medication and values, um, like values uh, range and stuff like that is a two paged um, paper. And then also this probably is like a percentage of how many uh, questions or the material are, you know, in the NCLEX itself. So on one side is the RN, and then on the other side is the LPN. And then um, this little packet here is also a pharmacology packet. Well, not a packet, but like a four page little thing. And also matching and a little um, icebreaker and um, match a cross, not a crossword puzzle. Is it a crossword puzzle? Yes, a crossword puzzle. And yeah, the another matching thing right here. So this was farm. And then we also played bingo. We didn't get to play both sides. So we only did the um, mother baby or the delivery. So instead of bingo, we said delivery. And if we were doing, I guess, med surge, we would say nursing. So yeah, this was actually pretty fun. Um, like I said, it was from nine to four. And then we had a 10 minute break each hour. So it actually went by really fast. Um, and the live review instructor that we had, we loved her, like I said, and she made everything sound so easy for us to remember, which actually was really, really good. Um, like for instance, I was really struggling with uh, uncompensated and compensated when dealing with fluid and electrolytes. So she told us like when there's the pH, is imbalanced or like bicarb are out of range then that's uncompensated right <laughs> hold on let me check so she kind of made it easy for me to remember yeah it was actually really really good um i didn't expect for her to go throughout the whole book because like i said um, it was nine to four for three days. And then when I actually saw that she was going throughout the whole book, I was like, oh, okay. Because if it was up to me, this book would really, really, really be closed. Um, yes. So along with the book and the ATI live review, after that, we then were open to um, the ATI classroom and board vitals. So the ATI classroom is just like a regular class. Um, each week, we started off with um fundam no sorry we, we started off with ph pharmacology because when we came back this spring um we took our pharmacology proctored at the end so i guess being that we are at the at the end of the semester at the end of the program um we got exposed to many drugs and side effects adverse effects and nursing client 
education. So um, we start off with proctored for farm. Then we start off with the classroom capstone on the ATI with farm. And then we did fundamentals, med surge. Now we're on maternity, we just finished this week. And then next week we're doing pediatrics. I believe we're doing pediatric, yes. So we're gonna do pediatrics and then the following week is mental health and then the following after that are going to be leadership and community health. So um, our predictor is scheduled to be for March 23rd. And then prior to that, we have an assessment B um, exam on ATI. I don't know if you guys are aware of that or if your school you know, does the assessment B um, because we had done an assessment A prior before the um, Kaplan. We did the assessment A, I think the first or second week when school started, just to see where we are. And then um, if you didn't get like an 80, then you'll need tutoring. So that was basically the whole class. Um, it's kind of hard coming out from a good three weeks of, you know, Christmas break and New Year's festivities and then coming back to do a whole 85 question quiz. Um, you know, so every every break, I always say to myself that I will either bring a ATI book or something to keep me going or to keep my brain going throughout the break and that never happens. So um, yeah, we did the assessment A. Now we all have to do tutoring after class. And then, um, yeah, so we have assessment B coming up on the 16th of March. Then the first um, predictor, which is the 23rd of March as well. So I'm aiming to pass that because I came too far not to. And my stress level is like way up here. If you have been in my shoes or or in my shoes, you can attest to like the stress level. And I just hope that <laughs> everything goes smoothly because I, I don't know. But anyway, I am gonna pass, okay? So we need a 70 for that exam as well. I also got access to Hearst. I'm waiting for the review book to come in the mail. So if you guys would like to see a video on that, let me know. And if you guys are doing hers, can you please comment down below and let me know how that goes too? Because it's kind of hard. Like I have to do 250 questions a week um, on top of the capstone classroom um, weekly assignment and on top of other questions that I may need help in. Like I'm going over my farm because pharmacology was the worst for me. And then it's med surge. So, I have a tendency of picking the answer in my head, but my arms and my finger tend to click the wrong answer. I don't know why I do that. You know what I mean? I need my head, my brain, my arm, and my finger to all work together to click the right answers. And what my live review instructor from ATI told us was to pick and stick. And that is like, the worst thing you could ever do is to change your answers, okay? Sometimes your gut feeling is the right thing and just go with what it says, okay? That's my best advice to give to anybody, okay? Just pick and stick. <laughs> so I just wanted to give this quick video out because it's been a long day. Um, and I also did my makeup. Um, yeah, so today was picture days for seniors for the yearbook. So I did my makeup and I was like, duh, like why would I not just do a video and get it out the way? Um, but yeah, today has been a long day. I had clinicals today from 6.30 to like three o'clock. And then I had to rush, do my makeup. And um, yeah, so I kind of work on campus. So I did that and then I was just contemplating when to start this video because I just had energy for now. So I was like, let me just get this out the way. Let me know if you are studying for the NCLEX as well and what um, kind of nursing system that your school uses, whether it's Hearst, 
Kaplan, which we also are doing as well. Um, we start Kaplan Review on the 16th as well. So um, I'll be talking about that. Um, if there's much to talk about, I mean, Kaplan has been out there for so long. So yeah, um, if you're doing anything to help uh, you study for the NCLEX, um, I wish you best of luck. Um, I wish you uh, passing on the first try because I understand how intense that is. Like myself, I'm not telling a soul. I'm not telling a soul when I um, take that test, okay? So, um, but I'll be so ecstatic when I do pass to tell everybody that's been behind my back and been supporting me thus far. So, um, yeah. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, if you like any videos, please give it a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. And um, I've been saying this in a few videos that I really, really want to do a giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. Like, I'm not that far away, guys. At least 100, please. Like, I've been in the 60s for so long. Okay, so please give it a thumbs up and share these videos with your friends. I promise to give out more content when I can. Obviously, like I said, I'm in the program. I don't have time to like put these videos out, but I try my best. Uh, wish you the best and happy nursing. See you in my next video. Bye.